Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see before you in this slightly ridiculous uh, setting is a new carriage. Um, I had a bit of an adventure yesterday, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, so yeah, I just decided that, you know, I'm going to start collecting a few bits and pieces of um, goods wagons. Nothing really major, you know, that I really need to build the layout first. <laughs> Um, anyway, so the plan was yesterday to hop on the train in Bremen Vegasack and go off to Hamburg. There's a hobby shop in Hamburg I wanted to go visit. Um, but I kind of woke up a bit late and looked at the price of the ticket and I thought, well, what else am I going for? And I, nah. So I decided to go closer to home. Um, so I found a, I went online and found a, a, one of many hobby shops in Bremen. But I found this guy called Das Depot, and uh, he didn't come under the normal kind of searches. I can't remember how I found him. I think I found him on Google Maps, actually. So um, there's his details if you want to go check it out, if you're ever in, in this part of the world. Um, I forget the guy's name. He's super friendly, super helpful. Um, the shop is total chaos. I've never seen so much model railway stuff shoved into a... <laughs> into a tiny shop in my whole life it was just epic um but you know it was it was well worth a visit there's lots of you know buckets and containers you just got to rifle through and find stuff um yeah a lot a lot of secondhand stuff like this this uh, wagon for example so um so what did i get well i bought some kind of boring but i bought some track connectors these things go in between the two two sections and it helps to hold them together so they don't fall out when you're setting up your layout on the road, on the road, no, on the floor. So my particular layout will be on bench work because it's just gonna be a small indoor layout. But anyway, I, I figured I still might need them so and they're available, so. A few bits and pieces, a couple of characters, a couple of seats, um, and I bought these uh, uncouplers. They're just manual uncouplers. So if you don't know, I suppose most people do, but if the carriage comes along and pushes the hook down, and then you can pull the other carriage away dramatically when the locomotive pulls away. I don't know. Will it work? Who knows? But anyway, but very important, if you do end up getting LGV or anything G scale, it's very important you have an open gondola to transport beer around your layout or around the house from the kitchen to the living room or whatever it takes your fancy. So that's it. That's all I can say. But check this guy out. He's, his stuff, he's, He's old school, this guy. Um, he speaks a bit of English, certainly more than I speak German. Um, but just re really, really great place. Really nice guy. It's worth a visit. Um, it's so small, he had me take off my backpack and leave it at the door, when, which he then guarded. <laughs> because I can't turn around in the, in the aisles because I'll just knock everything off. But he's got everything in every scale possible. I mean, I found Z scale, N scale, HO scale, G scale, of course, uh, Marklin 1 scale, which is really interesting stuff. I've never come across that before in my travels. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Enjoy your weekend, or what's left of it. Of course, when I send this out, it'll be Monday, so the weekend will be over, and you'll be back at work and be miserable. Never mind.